You're the land of the free. Hey, hey. You're the home of the brave. stuff on me. Come on. Move your body. You can just do a tap. You can clap, do a tap, do a clap, do a tap. Hey, hey, hey. There's something about the sound right now. It's going into the ground. It's shaking things over America. What did God say? I'm releasing a sound from Michigan. What if this is a sound? What if we're part of a shaking? What if we're part of a waking? Come on, come on, come on, come on. sounding the drum. We're just sounding the drum. We're just sounding the drum. Set, set the ambush. Set, set, set the ambush. Set, set, set the ambush. Uh -huh. Set, set, second chronicles chapter 20. Set, set, set the ambush. Set, set, set the ambush. Guess who's about, keep going. Guess who's listening to this right now? Keep going. The angels of the Lord. God is releasing his word. This is where God releases his word. He bucks with us. And when God prophesies, the angels come upon that word and they take it forth. We don't understand what we've missed out in the church today. This is what we've been missing. The prophetic menstrual anointing. So the angels are going right now and they're setting ambushes for the enemy. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, an ambush. 
Sounds like an amber bush. Sounds like a bush that's on fire. Sounds like when God starts commissioning deliverers such as the name of Moses. Set, set, the ambush, the amber bush, the fire, the deliverers. Set, 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 the deliverers. Set, 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 the fire. Set, 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 the ambush. Hey, okay, hey, hey. Let's go, Lord. Let's go, Lord. Let's go. God, whatever you want to prophesy, we're here to yield to you because we don't care. Hey, Holy Ghost, release your word. Release your fire. Release it, God. Come, Holy Spirit. Speak. You might be hearing something by the Spirit right now. We want you to know you have permission in here to scream out or pray out. You don't have to scream. You can whisper. As the sound is coming and you're feeling things stir in your spirit, God's going to have you prophesy. Don't think it's unimportant for you to prophesy under this anointing. Whether anybody hears it or not, God is hearing it. Heaven is hearing it. Start releasing what you're hearing. Release what you see. The Lord's going to ask you, what do you see? You might say, I see an almond tree. The Lord is saying, what do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Shout it out. What do you see? 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 Shout it out. Prophesy. What did you see? What did you see? ordered Hilka, the high priest, the priests in rank, and the doorkeepers to remove from the temple of the Lord all the articles made for Baal and Ashtra and all the starry hosts. He burned them outside Jerusalem in the fields of the Kidron Valley, and he took the ashes to Bethel. He did away with the idolatrous priests appointed by the kings of Judah to burn incense in the high places of the towns of Judah and on those around to Judah. Those who burned incense to Baal, to the sun and moon, to the constellations, and to all the starry hosts. He took the Ashtra pole from the temple of the Lord to the Kidron Valley outside Jerusalem, and he burned it there. He ground it to powder, and he scattered the dust over the graves. He also tore down the quarters of the male shrine prostitutes that were at the temple of the Lord. The quarters where women did weaving for Ashtra. Um... Is this 
is what God is doing. King Josiah began to seek the Lord at 16 years old. For four years, he sought the Lord, and at age 20, he began to go into the holy places, the temple of God, and tear down the altars that had been built to Baal and other gods in God's house. King Josiah had enough. He was 20 years old. Let me prophesy to you right now, Gen Z. You've had enough. And it's time to tear young. down these demonic young. things that have been in the church and in the tear culture. And we say we are with you and heaven is with tear you. And I say let the Josiahs arise. Josiah arise. Let them tear arise. down the idols. Tear arise. down the idols. You're not too young. You're not too young. You're not too young. You're not too young. Josiah did. He desecrated Topheth, which was in the valley of Ben Hanam, so no wood could use it to sacrifice their son or daughter to the fire of Molech. Come on! Come on! Come on. Hey. Gen Z is about to take down the spirit of abortion that has been idolatry in this nation. No one is going to be sacrificing our children to the God of Molech. instituted Davidic orders of worship. Come on. The 24-7 model that David put in place for 33 years, the Levites worshiped 24-7, and no army was able to attack Israel. They had safety. They had protection in their borders, and that's what the Davidic order of worship helps to bring about, is deliverance, military victories. There's safety and peace. Yeah. And so That's right. our heart, our cry, our assignment, if God would use us to do this, Come on. I pray that we're worthy to do this, is to worship God out of the purity that the Levites are called to worship in. Do you know in Exodus 32, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, and they had they had taken their golden earrings, the Israelites, and they had melted them down, and the calf was made. Do you know that when Moses came down, he called out to them, he said, who's on the Lord's side? And all of the Levites came to stand with the Lord. They stood with Moses, all of them. The Levites represent worship. Why has there been such a war on worship? Why is there such chains on worship and songs and expression and, and purity and, and then the, out of your heart? Like, why is it being marketed? Why is it being watered? Why is it being homogenized? Why is everyone expected to sound the same? Why? On, it's a lie. Know, you guys know this is right. God is done with this. He's restoring the tabernacle of David. Yeah. He's given us multiple dreams and words and all kinds of things to line up. That ministry is going to start looking different. Do you see what we're doing right now? We're together. We're not doing, let's have a worship set and then we'll stop. And then we'll all preach something and everybody sit in your seats. Do, I'm not saying that's wrong. Can you hear me? I'm saying, why is that the only thing we ever do? That's what we're saying. What if God was to take us into a place of prayer and worship and intercession? Why can't we be led by the Holy Spirit in every time that we come together? And then 
one has a song and one has a prayer and one has a prophecy and we're not doing it. Why? Because we feel like it's going to get out of order. Why do we feel like it's going to get out of order? Because we don't trust the Holy Spirit. We don't trust the Holy Spirit to talk to anyone. Holy Spirit just prophesied through my sister here that I don't know. Because he's been telling me I'm raising up the Josiahs right now to tear down the golden calves and the golden altars and the, the idolatry in my house. I'm raising them up. So how much better is it when we hear one another confirming? Does it not make God's voice louder? So what did you see? What did you see? Fire. What did you see? Sound going through the earth as she used her rod. Because there's a, there's a stomp and a shaking of our sound going into the earth. What did you see? is going to become an altar to God and the fire is coming back to the altar the fire's gone out but the fire's back and we're here and the fire is on the altar and America is going to become an altar to God not an altar to Baal not an altar to Ishtar or Jezebel not an altar to Molech not an altar to any other demonic principality we prophesy this land is our land From California to the New York Islands. And we get to say what happens in America. And the problem is, the church has bowed down to culture. And we don't need to fight it in public, although we will make our stance out there. We will. We will go. We will vote. We will do the things, right? We're going to vote. You know why we need to do it? Because it's shouting something. It's movement. It's saying, I don't agree with that. I want God in America. And we have to at least do what we can. But I tell you where we're going to fight the battle, guys. It's in intercession and worship and going out and sharing the good news with other people. It's pray and go, pray and go, pray and go, pray and go. It's Gen Z being bold enough to speak up in their high schools. Gen Z and millennials speaking up in the universities. God told me this too, that if we will ask for a spirit of boldness to come on us, to boldly proclaim in a time of great persecution, he will grant it to us. And you will be able to go forth and not care what anybody thinks about you and speak the truth because it is truth. So why should we hold back? The Bible says if we know to do right and we don't do it, it is sin to us. It's not just don't do porn, don't do drugs, don't do this, don't. It's not just don't do's. Sin can actually be what you're not doing. What you're not doing can be sin. According to the word, it says to him that knows to do right, You've read it, right? To him that knows to do right and what does not do it, to him it is sin. So here's where the Lord said he's challenging, especially those that have a voice to people, myself included. He said, when you know to preach truth and you don't do it, I look at you and say you're in sin. I account it to you as sin. So if we can, guys, we have got to be bold beyond our comfortability or whatever. We have got to do it out of obedience, even if we have to do it afraid because there's a reward in heaven for us. You know, it's not that hard to just say, can I pray for you? Can I share my testimony? Can I tell you how Jesus set me free? How I had an encounter and I got set free from drugs. I do it everywhere. My Lyft drivers get to hear about my story. People in the grocery store, the person checking me out at the store, like doing the grocery scanning. Hey, do you have any pain in your body? Do you know that you can just open up conversation like that? They start going, oh man, my back. There you go, there's your window. Are you taking these windows? 
We've got to jump through this. We've got to go. We've got to prophesy to them as much as we're prophesying in the spirit. So the Lord told me in this time of as we're watering the ground and we're going forward into harvest, he will, if we ask for it, give us a spirit of boldness to boldly proclaim the gospel. So you can ask for that right now. Ask for that spirit of boldness just right now. Ask for it. Receive it by faith. And then challenge yourself. The next time you go out those doors that you're going to share and you're going to be led by the Holy Spirit because this is how we take territory. The early church did not just intercede. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to be done because we're going somewhere. The early church did not just intercede. They inter- they did intercession. They prayed. They waited on God. The Holy Spirit anointed them. And then what did they do with it? They became his witnesses and they went out into all the earth. So why do you think the enemy has sucked the importance of evangelism? Out of our hearts, out of the church, out of the world, that it's not been a movement. There's been a prayer movement. How about an evangelism movement? How about we start this? So let's receive something right now. I just want to, the Lord is is here. There's fire on us. Let's continue to worship because we're here for him. Let's minister to him. And let's really yield our hearts and our lives to him. That we will intercede. And Lord, we're going to go for you. Without all the goosebumps. Do I have to preach it up and hype it up? You know, I could do that. I could preach it up right now and God's going to set you forth. But we do that. We hype things up and then we go out and because it doesn't feel like hype out there, we back away because it doesn't feel like hype. It doesn't feel exciting. So can you do it when it's not exciting, when you're tired, when you're bored, when you don't have time because that person needs God? And this is a place where God's taking us and challenging us. Can we put down our flesh and say yes? And we're going to watch him do wonderful things. Doesn't he come and heal people when you step out? And 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 you go from that moment and you're like, oh man, if I didn't say anything, that person wouldn't have had that pain healed. And then you're like, God, help me be more sensitive to you. Do you say that to him? God, help me be more sensitive to you. When you want me to reach out to someone, help me to deny myself. And he will, amen. Can we just worship? Let's just let's just worship. You get shy on me, lift up yours. You got a line inside of those lungs. Get up and praise the Lord. Come on, my soul. Well, don't you get shy on me, lift up your song. You got a line. Get up and The 
Yours, 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 it's all yours. 
victory Cause what can wash away my sin Nothing but the blood of Jesus What can make me whole again Nothing but the blood of Jesus Oh, precious is the This I see Nothing but the blood of Jesus Oh, for my cleansing This my plea Nothing but the blood of Jesus It's precious in all
to Maria Sing, sing, Father I belong to you Jesus Christ
Cause I've carried this burden Too long If you need healing from trauma you Stand up right now and lift your hands God wants to heal And there's so many people in here guys I'll be here for 10 days trying to pray And get all the trauma out of you And I need you to know That the Holy Spirit can touch you Right here, right now all I across believe this room. you're my healer. Come, Holy Spirit. There it goes. I believe you're my healer. All you have to do is open up and let it leave. Close your eyes. I believe Lift your face. you're my healer. Don't look at me. Look at him. There it goes. Say the word and your servant is healed. Take it, Just say Take the it. word. Just say the word and I am healed. Just say the word. The healer is here. Love your 
that guy You don't need that girl You don't need mm. Some things have passed mm. Away mm. But your love has the same your constant grace remains my cornerstone things that we thought were dead breathing in again cause you caused your son to Shine on my darkest night For all that you've done We will pour out love This will be my anthem song Jesus, we love you Oh, how we love you yeah, we do Lord, you are the Lord you are the one Our hearts adore Jesus we love you Jesus we love Oh how Oh how we love you Yeah we do God You are the one Our hearts adore Old things Cause all things have passed away But your love has stayed the same Your constant grace Remains a cornerstone Well, things that we thought were dead Are breathing in Done, we will pour out our love. This will be our anthem song. Jesus, we love. Oh, how we love. Cause you are the one. Our hearts adore. Jesus, we love. Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. Cause you are the one. Our hearts adore. Cause I believe the hopeless have found their hope. The orphans now have. A home and all that was lost has found its place in you. Cause you lift our weary heads, you make us strong instead. Cause you took my rags, won't you make? So I'll become even more undignified than this. Uh. Mm. 
break out your alabaster boxes Get ready to pour it out Get ready to pour it out Your affections, your devotion Get ready to pour it out Get ready to pour it out your face close your eyes lift your hands breathe him in he wants you to drink him we are not the glory he is the glory he's here do you feel that in here he's here let him move let him come 
There's fire coming on your body right now. There's impartation for some people in here. There's fire coming on your body. From the front to the back of the room, there's fire. Receive it. Receive what he wants to give you. Receive. He's got something unique for each person. Receive. Let him breathe on you. Hey. Hey.
faith is rising. Faith is rising. I'm not gonna give. I'm not gonna give. Cause you don't give up. I'm not gonna quit. Cause you don't quit. Keep on. Love never fails me. Your love never fails me. Seal, 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 seal him, seal him. You're the faithful one. Seal the Holy Spirit. Eternal Son. Close your eyes, turn off your mind. You're the faith. Feel. 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 Go your head. Go feel your head. Feel, feel him now. Feel him now. Feel him now. Go your head. Go your heart. I like the ones. Feel. Go your heart feel him now. I can feel him. Let go your head. Go your
yes is oh yes and amen. Be the wind, be the wind, be the wind, be the wind, be the wind. His promises are true forever. You can put your trust in him. He's not a man that he should lie. As I search the world And it couldn't fill me Man's empty praise Those treasures of faith Are never enough When you came along Put me back together Right here in your love Right here Oh, there's nothing Better than you, Lord There's nothing Not a thing Better than you Oh, there's nothing Nothing is better than you I'm not afraid To show you my weakness All my failures and flaws Well, you seem more And you still call me friend The God of the mountain You're still the God of the valley That your mercy goes Won't find me again You always find me
turn morning to dancing You give me beauty for my ashes You turn my shame into your glory You're the only receive a ministry of course he's still ministering to them but um the lord is not i would pray for everybody in the room but mm -hmm. the lord is like and now we're taking a break because he knows we have to sleep but this is what he does and he's got more plans for the morning and he's got more plans for tomorrow night so we'll be here at 10 right 10, 10 if you're really hungry you'll be here at 9 30 Make yourself some coffee. Bring your coffee here. Get here early. Get a seat. Also, I'll be at the table. The book table will be open. Wait, listen up before you leave. This is Arrow Ministries. I did not tell you guys earlier. They have a CD on our table. So you may want to grab one of those. And our oil, guys, is called Arrow and Shield Oil. And the Lord told us to do this as a prophetic sign of we are, we are ready for battle. We are the arrow of the Lord's deliverance, all of us. We are coming for those who are in bondage. And we just, by faith, have this anointing oil to say, God, we are rescuing those that are bound and broken. So it's to anoint the sick, anoint those that are bound, but also it's to anoint people to commission them for battle and for war. So it's powerful. So I'll be at the book table. I haven't talked about my books. I have two books there right now. My other book is sold out. I'm getting a new shipment in. So I have the Dark Horse book which is where all of this Dark Horse started from, and then the Dark Horse Youth Book, which is about the Gen Z revival that God showed me before it even started happening, guys, over the last two years. That book released two years ago, and it's all about what we're seeing right now. Amen.